everyone and welcome back to the Sir Vagabond Folio tutorial series for Photobella. Today we are going to start on the second page of our folio. So this is what we've done so far. This is page one, but we're going to flip over and we're going to work on the second side. So to get started, we are first going to need to fussy cut the train and the balloon from this paper. So I've already done that and I've backed them on cardstock, but I'm going to show you what to do before you do this. So once you have them fussy cut, they will actually be one piece, they're connected. Then what I did was I just cut straight across this uh, second red piece here just to separate it. There's a smaller one we're gonna leave down here, but then we're gonna have this separate. Then after I have them fussy cut, I put them on black cardstock and just fuzzy cut around them so there's a very small black border around them. So you wanna go ahead and do that first and then we're going to set these pieces aside for later. The first thing we're going to make for our folio is a very large flap. It's going to go down the entire back of the folio. So this piece is going to measure 11 inches by seven inches. And then we are going to score this at one half inch on the 11 inch side. So then bringing the folio in, this is going to be a very large cover for the entire flap. So we're going to have a lot of elements, we're gonna have elements underneath it here, and then we're gonna build up the front of this as well. Next, we are going to place this piece on here. So we're going to center it on this piece here. So this piece is eight inches long. So we're going to make sure that this piece is in the center. So this is seven inches, this is eight inches. So we're going to mark this a half an inch on each side, and then we are going to glue this right to the center. we're going to cut two pieces of black cardstock that measure four and a quarter by six and three quarters of an inch. On each of these, we are going to score at one half inch on the six and three quarter inch side. to add these as flaps to the left and right here in the center of the page. So I'm going to use my ruler to mark this in the center. It's not the center of the flap, it's the center of the whole folio. Next, we're going to glue one flap on each side.
Next, we're going to cut two more pieces that measure four and three quarter inches by seven inches. On each of these pieces, along the four and three quarter inch side, we're going to score at half inch. Open both flaps that you've already put on and we are going to place these two flaps inside of here. One is going to be glued here and the other one is going to be glued here. The thing about these flaps is we want to make sure that they will fit inside of here with these closed. So mine will not quite fit so I'm just going to slightly trim these down a little tiny bit so that they will fit in here very easily. So now that they're trimmed, they all fit in here neatly. So you just wanna make sure that those will close without puckering. So we have all of those flaps there and we're gonna go ahead and glue them down, one at the top and one at the bottom. Now that all the flaps are on, we can go ahead and close this up, flipping the flaps in, making sure the right one goes over left, left one is going to be on the top. Next, I'm going to use the one and a half inch strip I just cut off of the paper that I used to make the other two flaps. I'm going to cut this down to one inch, so it's gonna be a one by 11 inch strip. And then I'm going to score each end at one half inch. To keep all of my flaps from opening, I just use a strip of washi tape here that I'm gonna move later. We're going to open this and we're going to place this as a belly band on this page here on the base in the center. So it's going to be one inch up from the bottom and it's going to be flush with the top here. So I'm going to mark at the top of here, again, where the center is on the eight inch piece, so not the whole entire folio, from the end to this end of the, the first large pocket that's on the base. And then I'm going to glue only the top part to my folio. I'm not gonna glue the bottom part. now I'm going to use another piece of washi tape just to hold this down so that it does not flop around or rip off. We'll glue that one down later after we have the decorative papers on. So now we have our flaps here, we have our large flap, and we have our belly band here. For the next step we need one of the decorative papers so we're going to be using this one with Sir Vagabond. And what I'm going to do is fussy cut only part of him from the paper. So what I'm going to do is fussy cut the left side of him. Starting from, there's this line in the hat. I'm going to mark that. That's where I'm going to start fussy cutting on the left-hand side. And I'm going to stop exactly the same 
down below here. So whenever I go with my ruler, that is going to be about here on his boot. So we want to stop there. We're going to fussy cut all along the, the jacket on his left hand side here. And we're gonna stop here. We can take this straight up the paper. We're gonna use this part of the paper and we're gonna save this part for later. I'll be back with the next step and I'll show you my fussy cut and then we'll do the next part where we put this on black cardstock. So this is what my piece looks like, fussy cut from the paper. I'm going to set this decorative piece aside. I'm going to leave this piece. I'm gonna bring my paper trimmer in and a piece of black cardstock. I'm going to trim this to 10 and a half inches. Now what I'm going to do is take my piece of decorative paper and I want to make sure I have enough room because I'm going to fussy cut around this, but we're going to situate him on here just like this. So we're going to glue this down to the black cardstock and then we're going to fussy cut around here. And then we're also going to cut this off. So I'm going to go ahead and add my glue only to the decorative paper, placing it on here and fussy cutting around it. And then I'll be back to show you the next step. This is what your piece should look like once you're finished fussy cutting with the black cardstock. There should be a piece from the top and a small piece from the bottom that you did cut off of the papers. And then we're going to set this piece aside. We're going to cut one more piece of that same paper we just cut him from. We're gonna cut a piece that measures four and a half inches. And then I'm going to put him on this paper and I'm going to actually when I have this on my flap, I'll show you on that folio in just a minute, I want this to be lined up. So I'm going to mark this where this will need to be cut off here and mark it here where it needs to be cut off at the top. So it's about a quarter of an inch off of the bottom. And then this piece at the top this piece will measure ten and a half inches to where we cut at the top. So now we have these two pieces. Now we're going to add these pieces into the folio because we need these ones to be on in order to add our mechanism for the um, hot air balloon. So we're going to open up this flap and we're going to be working on this flap here. I'm going to turn this sideways so it will actually fit on my desk in frame. So we're going to first glue this piece to the side of the flap and then we will glue the other part on as a pocket. So this entire piece will get glued down. Next we're going to glue our pocket down on this side here. So we are only going to glue across the top down this strip but we can actually glue his coattail from here all the way down because our mechanism for our um, hot air balloon is going to be right here so that will not be used as a pocket so we want to glue straight across from here up the side and here so the pocket is going to be about this big.
So now we will have a pocket here. That'll be most of the page. Next, we're going to add our hot air balloon to the bottom part of the page. Down here, it's actually going to go on this belly band piece here and it's gonna be attached to the top. We're going to prepare this piece first to put on our folio. So we have it cut out from the black cardstock. I'm going to set this aside. I'm going to cut a strip that measures one inch by seven inches. Then I'm going to score this on one side at one inch. I'm going to fold down on the score line. And then just taking a piece of the leftover scraps, these were cut off from the bottom of the, the Sir Vagabond paper that was at the bottom of where he was. I just took a, a piece that's one inch by one and a quarter inches, and I am just going to glue this at the top, just below the fold. Taking the balloon, I'm going to turn it over, measuring from the bottom edge two and one eighths of an inch up from the bottom. That's where we're going to place this piece and it's going to be in the center so that it will go between these two. So if I hold this up, you might be able to see it a little bit better. So this one inch piece will fit between there but we're going to be gluing this this way. So that when you see, the decorative paper is actually gonna be coming out of the top. So I'm going to make sure that I line this up. And then I'm going to draw my line. If I draw lines, you'll be able to see this probably a little bit better. So this is where I'm going to glue this piece. So I'm going to add glue. want the decorative paper face down at the top and we're going to put this strip right here. Once you have it on, flip it over so that you can make sure that it's lined up evenly from the front side. Now that we have our piece, we are going to be adding this to this top part here. So I'm going to measure up from the bottom edge of the decorative paper or his boot. I'm going to measure up one and five eighths of an inch and draw a line. So I've already drawn my line here and my line catches just the edge of his coattails and goes right onto his boot just a little bit too. So that is where I'm going to glue this piece here with just that little tab. So we're going to add glue to this little back one inch section. And when you have this down on your belly band, it should be centered over the belly band. So that's how you will know that it is in the right place. So now when we open 
the hot air balloon is going to move with the top flap. Next, we are going to connect the belly band to the hot air balloon. So we're going to pull this off and we're going to cut a piece that measures three inches by one and three quarters of an inch. You're gonna score in each side at seven eighths of an inch and you're gonna fold in so that we have a piece like this where the belly band will actually be sliding through there. So this will keep the balloon from wobbling. So what we're going to do first we're gonna make sure that this fits so it works. It goes up and down the belly band easily. It's not too big, but it's going up and down really easily. Then what we're going to do is glue the back of this onto our balloon. So that it actually slides up and down the page or up and down the belly band. So I have the piece here that's a guide. The belly band will slide similar to that in that same spot. So we're going to place this just in the middle basically of the balloon. We're gonna draw some lines and then I'm going to glue this down. So on my piece, I did decide to go ahead and add one more of those little sleeves. I'm going to show you where it is. Just like the first one we placed, make the same exact thing. It's a little bit smaller. Mine is an inch and a half. And I just glued it down here so that it's a little bit closer towards the bottom of my belly band so that the balloon doesn't go a little bit crooked whenever it closes. So I've got the two of them here that are both glued on to the back of the balloon. So just like we did this one, just a little tiny bit lower. And now, lower this. My balloon, when I open it, it's a lot smoother going up and down the belly band. Next, we're going to be placing our train piece and we are going to be placing the train piece so that when this is fully open, we want the train piece to actually be sitting on top of the balloon piece because if not, what's gonna happen when we go to close it, the balloon is gonna catch on the train. So we need it to go behind the train. So if this is just a little bit over, then what's gonna happen when I have this adhered down, the balloon is going to slide right behind 
the train. So you just want to have a little tiny bit of an overlap. So we've positioned this piece first and then we'll position the train around it. And we've got basically the area where our flap closes. We want the train to be hidden underneath of this so you don't see any of it until it's opened. But all you have to do is line this up with the center part of here and it will, should work for you. So I'm going to take some of my washi tape off. Once you have your train piece positioned, it should be overlapping here and it should be just at the bottom of the belly band here. If you want, you can cut a piece of decorative paper and place it here underneath the train piece so that you don't see this black part. When you have your train where you want it, hold on to the bottom part and the side part, and then you want to move this until you can see, once your flap is closed, you'll be able to see this. You'll be able to see where the balloon comes to when it's all the way closed. So for me, that is going to be probably about a quarter of an inch up from the end. So why that's important is that's all of the further we can glue the train down because if we glue it further, it won't close all the way. So we have to be careful when we glue the train wheel to the belly band that that's where we glue this. But once we have our decorative paper down, we will be able to glue some more of this town train down so that whenever it comes down in here, the balloon is not going to come into here. So the train piece will be glued down there and down here, but we can't do that until we put our decorative papers on. So for right now, I am just going to put glue in this little tiny area here. I'm going to align my train with my balloon. and the rest of the things on the page. The biggest thing is to make sure that it is over the edge of the balloon. And then we can go ahead and close this to make sure that it closes. So now we have assembled all of side two. In the next video, we're going to start decorating side two.